Incredible Liam Norwell takes nine wickets to secure Bears safety. Once again, all eyes are on Edgebaston on the final day of the season. Twelve months ago, Warwickshire resumed their second innings and went on to beat Somerset to seal the title. This time, Hampshire are the opponents. Another final day win is necessary, but the prize is safety. Only victory will keep the Bears up. Boundaries were few and far between, but Davis and Sibley took their partnership beyond 50 before Hampshire got the breakthrough. Davis caught by Holland off wheel for 32, Warwickshire 97 for 3. Sibley moved to 50 from 60 balls before the over was done. More needed, and quickly, if Warwickshire were to force the win. The captain would add a quick fire 13. Six of them added when he lifted a bass over the boundary, but he's full to wheel, caught by a bass for 13. The Bears were leading by 97 when Moosley tried a big shot, but dragged Fuller on from wide of off stump. Bethel would go in Fuller's next over. This was not the showing the Bears needed, down to their last four wickets when the number seven was caught by Weatherly. Sam Hayne had been kept out of the firing line, clearly in some discomfort when he did wander out to the middle, but despite his difficulties, he still managed to add a boundary. It was hard to watch though, and brief in the end. Davis called Sibley through for a run, but he wouldn't get there in time. Hayne run out for nine by James Vince. He and his runner walked off. Briggs tried to get them going, six added by the spinner, who would eventually fall caught in the leg side off Fuller, who dealt with Norwell with the very next delivery, the tail ender bowled, the Bears down to their final wicket and Sibley was the last to go. LBW to Holland's Yorker, out for 77. Warwickshire were all out for 177, meaning to win the game and stay in Division 1, they'd have to defend a target of 139 and take 10 wickets in the process. But there was hope at the resumption. Felix Organ out caught behind off Hannon Dolby with just six on the board. And when Holland left Norwell to clatter into his off stump, this was the start the Bears needed. They were in the hunt. Weatherly, LBW for 10 for another to Norwell. Vince and Gubbins set Warwickshire hearts a flutter. The required runs dropped into double figures, but the hosts hit back. The all too threatening Hampshire captain out caught in the deep by Hannon Dolby as Norwell kept up his momentum. Ben Brown joined Nick Gubbins, the pair careful, but chipping away at the target. And before long, they'd reached the halfway point and Warwickshire were running out of time. You could sense the relief when Brown went LBW to Norwell for 11, but was it too late for them now? They'd have to find out after T. Hampshire, 61 runs away at the break. Warwickshire desperate for five more wickets. The target was 53 away when Norwell struck again to take his fifth wicket. Donald outcaught by Bethel for 12. In came former Bear Keith Barker, but even he couldn't stop Norwell. Stumps left in a mess as he was bowled for four. Norwell's 10th in the match. The target wasn't far away now, and Fuller made a bright start. Dot balls hard to come by, wicket taking opportunities even rarer. Gubbins moved into the 40s. The match was drifting from Warwickshire, the required runs down into the teens. But when it looks like all hope was lost, Norwell kept them alive. Gubbins, LBW for 46, just two more wickets required. Again, it looks like Warwickshire were dead and buried. But once again, Norwell hauled them out of the flames. Fuller bowled for 22. Q. Pandemonium. A bass lasted three balls. The great escape pulled off thanks to one of the great Warwickshire bowling performances. Liam Norwell finished with nine for 62. It had been a simply stunning day of cricket. Emotions overflowing in the middle as you bears echoed around Edgebaston. It was the most improbable feat. They'd looked finished before the game and repeatedly throughout the match, but they'd pulled it off at the 11th hour. Yorkshire relegated in their place, and Liam Norwell had almost done it by himself. Sibley too key with the bat on his final appearance for Warwickshire. County cricket is alive and well. Scintillating stuff brought the curtain down on another stunner of a season in the LV County Championship.